Hey football fans, it's JKMan99. Let's talk playoffs. Um, okay, so I'm looking at the wild card matchups, and I gotta say that they are probably the most intriguing matchups I have seen in a long, long time. I don't know how to really call any of these games. I would not be surprised by any outcome that happened between the four games coming up this weekend. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen. But, again, I'm stipulating it right now that at the end of the day, if the exact opposite happens, I would not be surprised or ashamed of myself in any way. I can really see it happening either way. I think all the games are going to be relatively close. And I really believe that it's all up for grabs. Um, so let's get right to it. Let's take a shot at that first game. Um, Cincinnati versus Houston. This goes back to last year. They they played in Houston, knocked Cincinnati out of the playoffs. So, And, you know, honestly, it's really unfortunate to see these two teams matched up again. Um, because they're teams that have... I don't want to say similar to the Bills, but, you know, I mean, just not a good history, and you want to see those teams go deep into the playoffs. So the teams you root for, because, you know, I mean, come on, I, the Patriots, I don't want to see them do anything. Um, you know, I want them to lose really, really badly. Um, that's just one example. I mean, actually, most of the playoff teams this year are, are pretty decent. Um, but, so, so you, you just look at those two, and those those are your Cinderella underdogs that you want to see make it. But, unfortunately, we're losing one of them. Um, first game of the playoffs. So, so what do I think is going to happen? Um, well, you got to look at what's been going on with both teams. The Bengals have looked pretty unstoppable. They, um, they destroyed the Eagles. They beat the Steelers, pretty much knocking the Steelers out. And then they beat the Ravens. I mean, they um, beat their d division opponents at the end. Now, granted, the Ravens did play some second stringers that last game, so it's not really a fair assessment of that last game. But um, And the Bengals were already in it, too, so that, that whole last game thing really didn't mean much to either team. But the Bengals have been looking pretty decent. The Texans have had an amazing season. I have a notebook around here somewhere where I actually predicted that the Texans were going to be 15-1. and And now, granted, they weren't 15-1, and but for a while it was really looking like that was going to be true. But, oh my gosh, the last two weeks, the Minnesota game, just no excuse. And they would have had a first-round bye if they just beat the Colts, which they couldn't do. Um, and there was so much Chuck Pagano stuff. You would figure that would have been a distraction over, like, an incentive for the Colts just because, well, is Pagano really going to coach as good as Bruce Arians did? You know what I mean? Like that. But, I mean, pretty much make Pagano look pretty good. So, um, so the the Texans are just looking kind of like the Chiefs did a few years back where, um, where they just went into the playoffs looking horrible and then they lost right away to the Ravens. And I, based on that, I kind of see that happening. Um, in this game, I actually see the Bengals coming into Houston and winning and moving on to play Denver in the divisional round of the playoffs. The Packers versus the Vikings. Um, that's that primetime game that night. Um, so, obviously, the Vikings just beat the Packers, and then they have to go around the, the following week and play the Packers in Lambeau. So... If I had to pick one game that I thought was pretty sure, if I had to bet on one of them, it would be this one. I'd really see the Packers coming into this game and winning. And the reason being is that Minnesota, even though both teams have done really well in December, the the Vikings put everything they had in the last week's game. Whereas, not saying the Packers didn't, but there was less riding on the Packers winning that game than it was for the Vikings. The Vikings didn't win, they're done. Uh, the Packers don't win, and you know they get to play. They have to play an extra game in the playoffs. Um, so it was a lot more important for the Vikings. And and needless to say, like the the Vikings were home. I mean, so that was a huge, um, a huge thing. And plus, there was the the record going on. None of that's going to be there this week. They're not. They're, they're away. There's no record to break. So, given those two facts, I really think that um, the Packers will. We'll take care of the Vikings this week. And I think it'll be like a 10-point win. Out of all the games, this will probably be the the one that is not 
not the closest. I, I think they're putting it in prime time and everything, but I, I don't I see it going to the Packers pretty easily. We got the Colts versus the Ravens. Now it's funny, I'm actually gonna use kind of the exact opposite technique that I used earlier. Um the Colts are on a hot streak. They've won four of the last five. Ravens are uh, not in a hot streak, winning uh, one of their last five. So, who do I think is going to win this game? Now, you would think, oh, well, based on what I said about Cincinnati and Houston earlier, I'm going to pick the Colts, clearly. No, I'm actually going to pick the Ravens. Now, here's why. The Colts are still a young team, and luck is still our first series here. Not saying that, obviously, with the Seahawks and, and the, you know, the, the Redskins. I mean, there's obviously other rookie quarterbacks in the playoffs, but that whole team is just changed around. It's new, and I get, and I know you could argue the same thing about the other two teams. I know that. But the Ravens are used to the playoffs. They've been in kind of for a while. Um, and technically, even though the Colts still have the better record than the Ravens, I think the Ravens, with their home field advantage, is just one of the best places for them to play. And... I think the Colts are going to be riding in not expecting as big of a challenge as it could be, whereas the Ravens are mature in the playoffs and will make all the right decisions and will come again, again, slight victory. I'm thinking maybe a four-point victory over the Colts, who I'm sure, and the Colts I think will be masterful next year. I mean, division winners probably be on Houston pretty easily next year. Um... All right, so let's talk about the other NFC matchup um, while we're on the NFC. Let's talk about the Seahawks versus the Redskins. Now, this is an intriguing matchup, again, primarily because they're both coming in off of five-game winning streaks, at least. Um, I think for the, for, the, for, the, for the Redskins, it's more. Um, they're coming off on winning streaks. That's, that's basically what I'm trying to get across here. And both teams are hot, and both teams look unstoppable. Um, now granted, I mean, the Seahawks showed a little bit of human, human side of them when they played the, the Rams, but again, another point in this game where they pretty much knew what the playoff spot was going to be. So, um, first Redskins home playoff game, pretty much since the Bills made the playoffs, so, what's going on, the Redskins, that's all oh, that stadium's going to be hyped up, like, RG3, woo, you know, coming in that stadium, and it's all going to be hype, um, but the Seahawks bring in their own hype too, with with Russell Wilson, who I just a standout, and what they bring to the table. And well, I know this is kind of a cop out here, but my Super Bowl pick is Denver versus Seattle, so I'm gonna go with Seattle um, for this game. I do not think it's going to be easy. I think if Seattle makes the Super Bowl, like my prediction is, I think this will be their hardest game by far. Um, because the Redskins look, I wouldn't say unstoppable, but they're going to be bringing a lot of momentum into this game. And, um, it's going to be hard for any team to break that. But I do believe that the Seahawks will win it just barely and get through to the next round. So there you go. Those are my picks. Um, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Packers, Seahawks, Ravens. And again, I would not be surprised if it was the opposite of that prediction. And, and I know I didn't really go into a lot of player personnel. I'm just looking at the matchups and I'm thinking, who do I really think is going to win the matchup based on momentum, based on how the teams are coming into the game. Not so much the X's and O's, but just who wants it more. And I think those four teams want it more. So feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know how this video is, because I haven't really done the playoffs before. I usually just re review drafts. Um, if you like what you see, I'll make more. If you don't like what you see, yeah, well, yeah, I won't we'll probably won't make any more. <laughs> so, um, I wish you all well. Happy New Year to everyone, and, uh, let me know what you think, and, uh, let's talk in football.